Section 4. The Offices of Christ. The scriptures represent Christ's offices as three in number, prophetic, priestly, and kingly. Although these terms are derived from concrete human relations, they express perfectly distinct ideas. The prophet, the priest, and the king, of the Old Testament, were detached but designed prefigurations of him who should combine all these various activities in himself, and should furnish the ideal reality, of which they were the imperfect symbols. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30, Of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who was made unto us wisdom from God, and righteousness and sanctification, and redemption. Here wisdom seems to indicate the prophetic, righteousness, or, justification, the priestly, and, sanctification and redemption, the kingly work of Christ. Denoven, three offices are necessary. Christ must be a prophet, to save us from the ignorance of sin, a priest, to save us from its guilt, a king, to save us from its dominion in our flesh. Our faith cannot have firm basis in any one of these alone, any more than a stool can stand on less than three legs. See Van Oosterzee, Dogmatics, 583-586, Archer Butler, Sermons. 1 colon 3.14. A. A. Hodge, Popular Lectures, 235, For Office, there are two words in Latin, munis equals position, of mediator, and officer equals functions, of prophet, priest, and king. They are not separate offices, as are those of president, chief justice, and senator. They are not separate functions, capable of successive and isolated performance. They are rather like the several functions of the one living human body, lungs, heart, brain, functionally distinct, yet interdependent, and together constituting one life. So the functions of prophet, priest, and king mutually imply one another, Christ is always a prophetical priest, and a priestly prophet, and he is always a royal priest, and a priestly king, and together they accomplish one redemption, to which all are equally essential. Christ is both an